I'm Lauren Rader with SCDOT on SC9 in Laura. I'm here with Anna Barnhill, resident construction engineer in Horry County. Anna, can you tell us about this paving project going on here? Sure, this is a rural road safety project. Um, it's 10 miles of paving in in and around the city of Loris. It includes widening, enhancing the striping and pavement markings. We're also enhancing the rumble strips and guardrail, just making this road a little bit safer. Okay, a lot of hard work going on. And Anna, what are some projects that have been recently completed in Horry County? We've just completed several secondary roads in the city of Conway and city of Loris. Uh, we've paved sections of 17 in Horry County, as well as a section of 501 between Conway and Ainer. Um, the, that's the main things we've been working on in the last few months. Additional projects that have been recently completed are listed here. Okay, and do you have some future paving projects planned for Horry County? We actually have a lot of primary routes that we're going to be paving in the next year. We're going to be paving a section of 544 between Gravelly Gully and Jackson Bluff. We've got sections of 501 uh, from the back gate of the Air Force Base all the way to uh, just about to the, the county line or the, to the state line in North Carolina. Um, we've got sections of 501 at Lake Busby and Conway we're going to be paving. Just a lot of work. It's going to be very visible uh, improvements over the next year. Additional paving projects coming up are listed here. These projects are all part of SCDOT's strategic 10-year plan funded by the new gas tax revenue. Thank you, Anna, for all your hard work and for that information. And as you travel through these active work zones, be sure to drive with caution. Let them work, let them live. Lauren Rader, SCDOT.